and welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed our real world apps on the chemistry. That was with Luigi from, um, he worked with, he was one of the, our students last year. He had graduated and moved on, sadly, happily for him, I guess. But. Yeah, <laughs> sadly yeah. for all of us sadly left behind. <laughs> I know, I know, it's true. All right, well, uh, what are we doing next? Science question? Sure, I got a science question. Let's do a science question. Sure, all right, jump to my board, please. Okay, so um, this is a student that's saying, I am confused and need help. Do conductors have high or low resistance, and what does that mean? So this is really, this is kind of a science language question. Um, I really do feel that uh, so many times in science, the understanding is a pretty simple thing, but getting a sense of, of what the language actually means can help to illustrate what the, the actual answer is. So um, what we have are conductors and resistors, and, and the, the, maybe the easiest word there is resistors. Resistors resist current. They, do not want current to pass through, they resist it. And so if you know what the word resist means, just from an English perspective, you can hopefully remember, okay, so the resistors are going to be better at resisting current. Um, and so, and we're talking here about uh, some kind of a material that has an electric charge attempt to pass through it. So a resistor, again, is gonna try to block that electrical charge and not allow it to pass through very well. Um, a conductor is going to be the opposite. A conductor is going to be uh, sort of like the conductor on a train, really great at moving the current through. So some examples would be things like metals. Uh, metals tend to be great conductors. Uh, copper metal is a fantastic conductor. Gold is a fantastic conductor. Um, and then examples of things that might be resistors would be things like plastic is a pretty good resistor. Rubber is a good resistor. Um, a lot of times just things like the earth is a good resistor. Uh, glass can be a good resistor in certain cases. So what really what we're thinking about here is, does it allow a, an electrical charge to pass through quickly, um, or does it sort of block that charge? And then also sometimes we talked about, about conduction and resistance in terms of heat energy. And at, at some level in physics, when we think about electrical energy and heat energy, in, in some ways they're two sides of the same coin, but we could also imagine that a metal cup that you're drinking a cold beverage out of, that's gonna conduct the temperature of that beverage very quickly, so your hand is gonna feel cold. Whereas a glass cup, as your pat, maybe you have ice water in a glass cup, the, the water itself is probably gonna be much colder than the glass that you're holding. So that would tell us that the uh, metal's a great conductor of energy and the glass is not such a good conductor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 